Greetings to our NECC community. Today, it is with great pleasure that I announce our formal succession plan designed to transition NECC to new leadership by the fall of 2023. Our board of directors and I have been working on this plan for the last three years, and it is currently well underway. I started the New England Center for Children in 1975 in an empty building on the grounds of the Taunton State Hospital. And from our very humble beginnings, we've grown into an international leader in autism research and education. We've reached more than 8,000 students through our in-person programs, partner classrooms, and ACE software application across 19 countries. We've published 300 articles in peer-reviewed academic journals, and our great staff have completed more than 1,500 graduate degrees through our on-site graduate programs, all while working full-time here at NECC. All of this work over the last 45 years was a combined effort of many staff and a great executive team. The Board of Directors appointed members Kathy Foster and Roseanne Lovely to work with me on the succession plan over the last few years. After they interviewed current and former senior leaders, the board unanimously decided that my successor must come from within the center, a decision I strongly encouraged. It is with great pleasure that I announce that Dr. Jess Sassy, former clinical director, is the successor to me as I start to transition into an advisory role at the center over the next three years. Jess is well respected within the ABA community and is currently a professor of the Western New England Graduate Program in ABA based at NECC. She's held many key positions at the center since joining us in 2007 after completing her PhD with Dr. Brian Awada at the University of Florida. Most recently, Jess has been one of the key leaders of the emergency management team, leading NECC through the most difficult crisis in our 45-year history, fighting the coronavirus. Over the next three years, Jess will be training with me and other key members of our senior leadership team and board members. This year, she's serving as an executive without assignment and is preparing for the role of executive director in the Southboro program, which she will assume at the end of this academic year. At that time, she will replace Kathy Welch, who will become a part-time advisor to Jess. At the beginning of the 2023 to 2024 academic year, Jess will assume the role of CEO of the New England Center for Children. I look forward to working with Jess throughout this transition, which is already underway, and I'm confident that she will successfully lead NECC to a bright future. I'll continue to lead the center throughout the transition and will serve as an advisor to Jess and the executive team after 2023. Now I'd like to introduce Dr. Jess Sassy, the future CEO of the New England Center for Children. Over the last 45 years, Vinny and his team have created a world-renowned center for autism education and research that has made high-quality, comprehensive services available to kids with autism around the world. And along the way, Vinny has become a mentor and a leader to aspiring business leaders like myself. I'm humbled by the opportunity to continue to work with Vinny and be mentored by him and to work with such an amazing group of smart and capable people here. I'm honored by this chance to lead our organization into the future and to help set the stage for the next generation of autism educators, researchers, and clinicians. I know that I have a lot to learn over the next three years, but I am excited and ready for this challenge.